Hey everybody, my name is Rich with Swamp Fox Overland and Outdoor. We're gonna talk about GMRS today. GMRS is one of the most important radio services because it essentially replaced CB radio on the trails. Um, it is UHF radio, so in the 462 to 467 megahertz band, this is the GMRS General Mobile Radio Service. I'm a local radio expert, right? And the reason that I call myself a radio expert is because I'm licensed in two services, GMRS and amateur radio. My call sign for GMRS is WROL204. My call sign for ham radio is Kilo 4 Zulu Romeo Lima. The two radio services are very similar, but they are not the same. There are some very inherent differences between the two, right? Um, for instance, with ham radio, I do a lot of emergency communications or MCOM. I serve with the uh, National Weather Service and their Skywarn uh, program, which is essentially a advanced storm spotter. Um, I serve with the amateur radio emergency service in times of need very very much like the hurricane helene uh relief efforts that are going on right now the hurricane helene relief efforts right now are very very heavily based on ham radio both services are being used for very very different reasons it's made to be a very simple radio service it reserves frequencies between 462 to 467 megahertz, but it's made to be a channelized system. So when I say, please everybody change your radios over to channel 16, there's no additional thought process that's needed to do that except for let's go to channel 16, right? So I know personally that that frequency is 462 dot 575 and that is what channel 16 is however not relevant if you're telling Joe Schmo that he needs to go to channel 16 then he needs to go to channel 16 so he can hear me right um, GMRS is a simple radio service it's made for your family and yourself your call sign is registered for yourself and your family your immediate family um, so if I happen to have a wife, then she can use my call sign when we're at camp uh, to keep in touch. And you can place identifiers such as WROL204 Radio 1 or WROL204 Car 2. So you can lay designators as you're traveling. Where that becomes very, very important is when you're traveling in a convoy in order for you to stay in touch and make quick changes on the fly, radio is the easiest thing. I don't wanna get somebody on my cell phone and have to three-way call a convoy of people and then we've missed our exit or we've missed a turn on the trail. Um, too much time. You pick up a radio and you say, WRO 204, we're making a right here. That's just as simple as it can be. So, the reason that radio makes a lot of sense is you, you don't have to worry about cell towers you don't have to worry about um, the prospect of not having repeater systems it's just radio to radio if the radio waves can make it then someone can hear you if your transmitter can make it then it can make it to the person that it's trying to reach. Where that becomes very important is in a disaster situation or in quick change situations as well. So, this is a GMRS radio. It's uh, what we call an HT, a handy talkie, and it's made to put out anywhere for between five watts and eight watts. So, it's made for a specific purpose, um, and it is portable, you can take it on the trail. This one happens to be waterproof, uh, as you can see. GMRS 16 is the channel and I can communicate with anybody who is on channel 16 WROL 204 test and you heard that through this this is a mobile unit it's made to be installed into a truck or at this point I'm using it as a base right and we've connected it to 
a Lichigi battery box. Um, it's a 100 amp hour battery. It needs a, its own power because it does not have a battery, such as your Baofeng, right? Um, very, very important to understand the uses for both. The Anytone has a 25 watt uh, power output. This has an 8 watt power output. More power, more distance, essentially, if all antennas are the same. The very, very important part about GMRS radios as opposed to FRS, which we will explain later, is you can change the antenna. So if I want to put a longer antenna, such as this antenna, you can get a little bit further in your transmission because of its length, because of the way that it transmits its wavelength of the radio wave. So um, the difference between this radio and that radio, five watt output, longer antenna, talk more fars. So here we have a mobile antenna. It's a magnet mount. Um, this is something that is very, very popular in the GMRS world for people that don't want to have a fixed antenna on their rig or on their truck. It's as simple as, for effect, I have a pizza tin here and it sticks onto a metal surface. So essentially what you have here is a ground plane that is helping the radio waves be received by the antenna. So very, very popular thing for a mobile rig. Very simple to set up a station. These are tuned for the frequencies between 462 and 467 megahertz, AKA channels one through 22. So what's the difference between these two radios? Probably hard to tell. This one is a GMRS radio. This one is a ham radio. The only way to tell if it is different is to read the label, to be fair. And most of the time, your GMRS radios are going to have a channel and no frequency. The confusing thing is you can change these things to frequencies. We'll cover that at another time. The ham radios will typically have a frequency. I just happen to have programmed a GMRS channel in, right? But these are the exact same radio, but one was made for GMRS. It can get really difficult when you're looking for radios on Amazon. And the problem is that you don't know what to look for. The short answer is type in GMRS, see what pops up. But the bigger issue is that sometimes the sellers don't identify it as GMRS. Technically, GMRS is UHF radio. This can do UHF radio, but this is a ham radio. So it's very, very important to read the descriptions, understand. Typically, you'll see something that says GMRS in the, uh, in the model number. And this one here says UV9 Pro, which is the ham version of the same radio. Same power output, similar antennas. I can change the antennas, but it's hard to tell the difference if you don't know what to look for. So when in doubt, read the description. Also pay close attention to whether or not it says GMRS and it's channelized system. Remember, GMRS is a channelized system channels one through 22 and then you have eight repeater channels this one can go all over the map getting started with your new gmrs radio it's pretty easy turn it on says there's a channel we're on channel 18 and WROL204 test. Guys, GMRS is a very simple and easy radio service, but sometimes things can get confusing because of the way that people present the information. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Rich. The email is swampfoxoverland at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching. When Hunter wants things to stay brand new. Ta-da! Oh, I don't need the audio from any of this, I guess. <laughs>